All right, so for this video, I'm going to show you how to use that piece of foam that was in the kit. And what that foam is for is for you to be able to make a print that you can put on the outside of your envelope. So the best thing to do is to draw your design on a piece of paper uh, and trace over the paper. It's going to be easiest if it's not cut out like mine is, but uh, I'm just using this because I already have it done. Uh, and then you can trace in your details using the pencil. Now, you want to make sure that your pencil, when you're uh, putting the lines in, that you put it slightly on an angle because you don't want it to be with the point directly down because it might puncture the paper and the foam. And what you're trying to do is just create an impression in the foam that you're going to redefine uh, as you um, go into making your print design. So now if you see here, uh, if I hold it on an angle, you can see that it has pressed down my different designs. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use my pencil to reinforce them. And uh, again, I'm using my pencil slightly on an angle because I don't want it to go through the foam. I want it just to transfer the design down. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to just follow these designs that I have here. Now what's going to happen is where you're pushing down the foam, that area is going to be white when you make your print. And a print is always backwards, so if you wanted this to be the first letter of your name, you would want to make your letter backwards uh, because when you print it, it's going to flip around opposite of what you're looking at. So you got to just keep that in mind. All right, so now I have my design. I'm just putting some lines in there. Uh, my next step is to take some scissors and cut it out. So I'm sort of following the contour um, and I'm going to just come along that line and remove the foam from the background. So I'm just going to come in here. Now I'm cutting so that I can continue to keep that space around because I have an idea of what to do with that image and I am going to make a star so I have my moon okay and I have my star so I'm going to take this star and it's the cookie cutter and I'm just going to line it up making sure that there's enough space on the foam and I'm going to just push it down to make an impression so I can see where the line for that star is so I pattern that I am going to put over my envelope. So this is a uh, bonus uh, point activity. So if you do this, you are going to get bonus points. So um, if you're looking to pick up some extra points uh, to help your grade, uh, this is a good way to go. So I'm going to just come in here and I'm going to just do a spiral that goes all the way around. And I'm going to again keep my pencil on an angle because I don't want it to be puncturing through the foam. I want it to just be putting an impression uh, on the surface that will allow my design to be transferred. Okay, so now I have a star and I have a moon. So you can see if I hold it on an angle here, you can see these designs. And when you rub your finger across it, you should be able to feel a difference in uh, that uh, surface. Now, um, what I would say is you may want to um, come in and think about what do you want to be on your little small envelope. So the envelope is going to be folding down like this. So, uh, you know, you're only going to be seeing part of your design, but you might see more of the design on the back. So I would take something that uh, I wanted to transfer to the the uh, middle and I'm just going to fill this in and I'll just start with putting one color down. Uh, I'm going to put a scrap piece of paper down here so that I can go off of the edge and you want to be careful of where you put your fingers because wherever put you put your fingers it's going to be lifting up 
the, the ink off of the surface. So I'm going to mix this a little bit, uh, maybe with, uh, let's see what we have here. Maybe I'll mix it with, uh, oh, here, this color here, blue. Sorry about my disorganization there. And I'm going to just mix that in there. So it's going to make like a little bit of a violet and have a little bit of pink coming around the edge. Okay. Uh, and then what you want to do is decide where you're going to put this. So if I'm putting this right here in the middle, what I want to do is I get to put a little bit of water on the surface. Now I don't want it to be super glossy because if it has too much water, what's going to happen is my colors will bleed out. So I'm just going to give it a little second there to absorb a little bit into the surface. Uh, I'm going to take my image and I'm going to put it face down and then I'm going to push and burnish it from the back. So I'm just burnishing it from the back to try and get it pressure on every part of it. And you can lift it up to see how it goes to see if you forgot a spot. So now I have my moon down on my paper. Do the same process. I have to fill it with co color. Okay, so I'm going to fill it with color. I'm going to decide where I want to place it. I, wanted, I forgot a little corner there. Uh, decide where I want to place it. Put down some water. And again, uh, you don't want it to be too wet. You don't want it to be too shiny. So you see how that's a little shiny? I'm going to let that uh, absorb into the surface of the paper for a minute. Uh, maybe I'll come over here and I can do another one here while that one's drying. Um, and this one looks a little bit uh, less shiny, so I'm going to do it on this one here. So I'm going to take my star, I'm going to pick it up, and I'm going to burnish it from the back. Okay, and then when I lift up, I have my star. So now this one's probably dry, and I still have some ink on the surface. You can see it bled out a little bit because that paper was really wet but you know it still has uh, a likeness of the star there uh, but I wanted to be able to show you what happens when you have too much water so I'm going to come in here again and then I'll put another few stars down here 